Okay, Julie, there is no more beautiful sight in the world of thoroughbred racing than Santa Anita Park in Arcadia, California, just outside Los Angeles. On a clear afternoon, it's just beautiful today, temperature in the 70s, good crowd here for the running of the Santa Anita Derby at a mile and an eighth. Each horse packing 122 pounds. We have a field of eight. Lake George is one of the long shots. He starts from the inside at 30 to one. In character is an English bred at 11 to one. Then afternoon delights is the favorite at three to two. Larry the Legend is the third choice. Held right now at odds of nine to two. Number five, the longest shot in the field. Fanderil Dancer at 45 to one. Jumrin number six at 13 to one. Patientville with Chris Antley up is 13 to one. And the second choice is Timber Country, Pat Day aboard, nine to five. Welcome to Santa Anita. This is, without a doubt, the definitive prep for the Kentucky Derby, which will be held four weeks from today in Louisville. We have a great cast of characters here, both equine and human. You have a horse purchased for $500,000 at a yearling sale, Timber Country, who was the two-year-old champion last year. You have another horse purchased for $2,500 through a bankruptcy proceeding in Larry the Legend. You have two undefeated horses going to the post today in Afternoon Delights and Patientville. An all-star cast of jockeys, an all-star cast of trainers. A lot of questions will be answered today, and some other questions will develop and emerge. But with all of the subplots, I think clearly we have a battle between two of the big stars, two of the big three-year-old stars, and we're talking about Timber Country, who as a two-year-old won the Breeders' Cup Classic at Churchill Downs last November. Timber Country is at the moment being held at odds of nine to five. He is the second choice with Pat Day up, trained by Wayne Lucas, and he'll be matched up with Afternoon Delights as Charles C. Cantu joins us. And these two horses will be making uh, their acquaintances known to each other for the second time in three weeks. Yes, this is a rematch, actually, of these two colts who finished 1-2 in the San Felipe. That was a small field that day, only four horses, and that makes it virtually a match race. And in those circumstances, speed dominates, and that's what Afternoon Delights did. There he is on the lead. Timber Country was forced to lay closer to the pace than usual, and that dilutes the closing punch of any stretch runner. Now today, the circumstances are different. We have a bigger field that's going to guarantee an honest pace and a truer run race. Timber Country will not have to concede three pounds. They all carry 122, but most importantly, he gets an extra 16th of a mile today, Al, so there are no more excuses. Apart from those two, there's a horse that's captured everybody's fancy here. Right now, he's five to one. He's the third choice. Larry the legend, Gary Stevens, comes back from Hong Kong. He's been riding overseas this winter to ride him. Larry the legend was named for the brother of the trainer. He was a $2,500 purchase. For more, here's Dave Johnson. And now the starting lineup for the U.S. champion, Long Beach, California. The manager, Larry. Larry managed his team to a victory in the 93 Little League World Series. A hero in his hometown, he acquired the nickname The Legend. A lawyer by day, he's still coaching, but in the dugout, it's not all talk in baseball. Uh, since uh, Santa Anita Derby's, you know, the top uh, race for three-year-olds on the West Coast, and... Uh -oh. oh, that's out of here. Larry's brother, trainer Craig Lewis, bought a horse in bankruptcy for $2,500. Craig, who often names his horses after family members, named this one after his brother. And Larry the legend, the horse, hit the big leagues, beating two-year-old champion Timber Country. It's just part of the good fortune I've had in, in life to have such a nice family, and they've always been very supportive of everything that I've done. And uh, 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 Larry is certainly a winner in life, and hopefully the horse will emulate him. He has so far. What becomes a legend most? Well, a horse with a name tag and a price tag like Larry the Legend is a good start. What wins the Santa Anita Derby? Favorites. In the last 10 Santa Anita Derbies, the favorite has won it seven times, and the second choice won it the other three times. So history tells us it's either Afternoon Delights or Timber Country. And right now, the favorite, seven to five, Afternoon Delights. The horses are loading. Let's go up to Dave Johnson for the call. And the last horse, Timber Country, moves in. They're all three-year-olds. They all carry 122 pounds. This is an eighth of a mile shorter than the Kentucky Derby, and uh, they're off. And on the outside, Vanderell Dancer, the longest shot on the board, takes the early lead.
From between horses, Larry the Legend. Along the inside, Afternoon Delights in the blue cap, right there third. The undefeated Patientville is racing fourth. Timber Country on the outside. Lake George sneaks through along the inside rail. Jumron is next. And in character is far, far back. About 18 lengths from the leader. And the leader is... Vanderell Dancer, the only California bred in the field. On the outside, Larry the Legend in pursuit from the second spot. Gary Stevens looking for his third Santa Anita Derby win in a row. The favorite, Afternoon Delights, with Kent DeSormo on the inside, is racing in third position. Patientville on the outside races fourth. Along the rail, that's Lake George fifth. Timber Country, trained by Wayne Lucas with Pat Day aboard on the outside, is next. Then comes Jumron, and it's 18 lengths back to the trailer in character. They go to the far turn. Afternoon Delight sneaks through on the inside, takes the lead. Larry the Legend is right there in the second spot. Then it's a gap of four, and Patientville is racing third. Timber Country starts his run on the outside with the yellow cap as the field moves to the quarter pole. Afternoon Delights has it by half a length. Larry the Legend is second. That's Patientville racing third, and Timber Country cuts to the inside. Lake George along the rail is next, followed by Javon, who's making a late move. And down the stretch they come, the undefeated. Afternoon Delights with Kenta Sormo digging in on the inside. On the outside, Larry the Legend inching up into the second spot. Far outside, Javon through the stretch and to the wire. It's going to be a photo too tight to call on the inside afternoon delights larry the legend right there in a photo far far outside jump run was closing timber country fourth noses apart all four it's a photo finish and what a finish this definitive prep to the kentucky derby ends with quality horses across the track and a final time of 147.99 We'll be back with more. We'll find out who won this year's edition of the Santa Anita Derby after this brief timeout. Stay with us. We're back, and the legend continues because Larry the legend has won the Santa Anita Derby. And we're going to take a look at the prices. He wins by a nose over Afternoon Delights and pays $13.65 and $4. Afternoon Delights, $3.60 and $3.20. Jump run showing 25-20. Timber Country still has not won a race in 1995. He finishes fourth. Well, the Kentucky Derby is four weeks away. Craig Lewis stands next to me. He is the owner and the trainer. Gary Stevens commutes from Hong Kong, and all he does is win every big race on the, on the program, and that's three Santa Anita Derbies in a row. And we talked about in our piece before the race, Larry, the legend, and there he is as well. Craig Lewis, a tremendously game performance by your horse. Unbelievable. I don't know who's better, the horse or Gary, but they're both sensational. And I'm very happy with the results, and uh, what a thrill. You shocked everybody, Gary, when you came back and won the Santa Anita Handicap with urgent request. What about this horse? Was, was this a surprise to you as well? I'll tell you what, I've never ridden a horse with as much heart or willpower or will to win as this colt that I just rode. He was beat at the quarter pole, hopelessly beaten. I started asking him harder inside the eighth pole. The harder I asked, the harder he ran. I said, if you're game, I'm game, and he just kept coming. Larry, Larry Lewis, who managed a couple of Little League uh, World Champions, in 1992 and 1993. Are you ready for this publicity onslaught now over the next uh, four weeks? Well, I'm glad my brother gets to go through it. Uh, I was able to live a dream and now he is. I'm just really excited and ecstatic for my brother. It's just been great. Let's take a look right now. We're going to pick it up on the far turn and Gary Stevens, as we take a look at this, Afternoon Delights appears to be in pretty good shape as the horses uh, straighten out in the lane. But uh, what's your thinking at this point, and how much horse did you feel you had left? Well, fortunately, I put uh, Kent in a position down the backside where he had to use his horse, I think, a little more than what he wanted to. I was hoping that his horse would come back, get a little tired the last eighth. But when he opens up on me at this point right here, I said, well, he must maybe he's just too much horse. And then uh, my guess was right of what I was thinking down the backside. Uh, afternoon Delights began to tire a little bit in here. And, like I said before, this little horse has nothing but heart and determination. You can see him just poking his head down right here and giving me everything that he's got. And uh, I was worried about Jim Run on the outside. He was so far out in the middle of the track, I couldn't really tell if we had held on the win or if he'd gotten up. And it turns out that he ended up third anyway. But what a horse race. Did you know you, you had it at the end? I really, as I said, I knew that I had afternoon delight speed. But a lot of times when a horse is out in the middle of the racetrack like Jim Run was, you really can't tell. Can you believe this? $2,500 you spend on a horse and you're going to the Kentucky Derby. 
very likely is the favorite now. Well, that's what horse racing's all about, and uh, that's what America's all about. Everybody can get lucky, and it's just a great thrill. Folks, congratulations. We'll see you in four weeks, and let's go upstairs right now to Dave Johnson. And the Santa Anita Derby throws the entire Derby picture into a scramble, so to speak. Hey, how about Kent DeSormo, who had the choice of either afternoon delights or the eventual winner, Larry the Legend, and he took, of course, the undefeated afternoon delights. This horse keeps improving. Only four starts before today. Here's guts. Here's courage. Here's Gary Stevens on the outside coming on to nip afternoon delights and jump Ron on the outside don't blink now after a mile and an eighth it was only a nose as Larry the legend goes from here to Louisville well every year as we take a look at the official photos there's always a great story or three or twenty at the Kentucky Derby but this will be the headliner now you've got this and don't forget afternoon delights simply second by a nose that's the first time that horse has been defeated all of a sudden Jumron now comes into the picture timber country becomes a question mark but Wayne Lucas contends that he's training his horse differently this year than in prior years all he's thinking about is the 6th of May but Larry the legend is for real Charlesy well he is indeed and Craig Lewis said it best this is a really democratic sport they don't care who they disappoint and they don't care who they put in the winner's circle and this little colt bowled his way in there gonna be a big field for the Kentucky Derby now if there's nothing else that will happen from this, there'll be a bunch of people around the country taking $2,500 out of their checking account to go to a sale and buy a horse. Well, I hope so, because everybody's got a chance. Well, the Kentucky Derby comes up now in four weeks. Just give me uh, 28 days in advance. Your thought, who do you think's going to win? Well, after what we saw this afternoon, I think everyone has got to kind of reshuffle what they're thinking because if these two California horses were beaten today, then you've got to relook at all the horses on the East Coast. It's still very wide open. All right, the next prep race that you'll see on ABC is the Wood Memorial from Aqueduct. We'll televise that on ABC's Wide World of Sports next Saturday. Also, the Bluegrass will be run the very same day. And here is the final order of finish with Larry the Legend winning it by an official head. Afternoon Delight second, Jumron third. Then Timber Country was only a length back and forth, followed by Lake George. In character, never fired. Patientville, who had not been defeated until today, finishes seventh. And Fanderil Dancer was the longest shot in the field and ran like it. So that's the story. Larry the Legend wins a thrilling Santa Anita Derby. And from Arcadia, we go back to New York and Julie Moran.